Hi, welcome back to IT Reviews. Today let's talk about data loss and ways to restore lost files. It happens to all of us at some point. A hard drive crashes, a memory stick stops responding, a memory card fails, or a file on a smartphone does not open anymore. This could be caused by physical damage, software bugs, or malware infection. For purposes of file and data restoration, in such cases, there is a special kind of software of the market called data recovery software. Let's take one of the most most popular apps in this segment and see how effective it really is or isn't. It is called Data Recovery Wizard, the product by a Chinese tech company EasyUs, founded in 2004 and specializing in data management. It has version for Windows, Mac, and Android devices. The range of the possibilities, according to the vendor website, is from recovering deleted files to the data damaged by a virus attack. Minimum system requirements for Windows OS are 1 GHz CPU, 1 GB RAM, 32 MB space for installation, OS version 7, 8, 10, 11. Supported file system FAT, XFAT, NTFS, HFS, REFS, DRW. For Windows comes with 20 interface languages. Minimum system requirements for Mac OS are 1 GHz CPU, 32 MB space for installation, OS version 10.12, 10.13, 10.14, 10.15, 11. OS 6, 10.9, 10.10, 10.11. 10 Supported file system FAT, APFS, NTFS, HFS, XFAT, DRW for Mac comes with 11 interface languages. What is a file system? File system is a standard for OS to store and read files. The most popular ones are FAT and NTFS. FAT, made mostly on removable flash drives, has version like FAT16, files no more than 2 GB, FAT32, files no more than 4 GB, XFAT, files up to 64 GB. NTFS is considered a more advanced one capable of storing files of up to 1 TB in size. The latest program version is 15.0 out in December 2021. There is a mobile app for Android devices too, called EasyUs Mobile Saver, which is free at the Play Store and is aimed at recovering videos, photos and contacts. In general, the vendor claims that over 200 file formats are eligible for restoration by the program. This includes popular types, for instance, document formats, doc, XLS, PPT, PDF, HTMS, ODT, ODF, etc. Video formats, AVI, MOV, MP4, etc. Photo formats, JPG, JPEG, PNG, GIF, etc. Audio formats like MP3, AAC, and so on. Email formats, archives, EXE files, and other formats. DRV can also work with multiple storage devices, including PCs, laptops, MacBooks, hard drivers, external drivers, USB cards, camcorders, memory cards, digital cameras, audio players, SSD, etc. With the free basic version, users are only able to restore up to 400 MB of files or up to 2 GB if they share this activity on social media. In my case, I'll be testing the Windows version. The installation process is familiar and takes just a few steps. To change the default path, program files on drive C and or interface language, click Custom Install option. Additionally, agree or refuse to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement program enabled by default. If you've purchased a Pro version, enter the license code in the field below to activate the program. Interface is nice and pleasant with white and blue colors. Only three tabs – PC Recovery, NAS Recovery and Help, plus Settings, obviously, menu. The main Windows accommodates all the detected hard drives on users' PC and popular locations for recovery – Desktop, Bin, Folder. The working Windows appears after scanning is performed. On the left, a hierarchy of file type is displayed. In the main area, all the details are presented, for example, name, location before the deletion, type, date of deletion. How to use Data Recovery Wizard? Easy as it seems did their best to make the data recovery process as simple and apprehensive as possible to all users. So it all boils down to just three actions. Launch, scan, restore. As you open the app, you see two tabs. PC Recovery – for files on computer and NAS Recovery – NAS – Network Attached Storage – for recovery from work networks, connected drives, services, etc. The latter one only supports 34-bit Windows version 10 and 11. Step 1. 
Open the program and let it detect internal drives, CD, etc. Select location of previously lost data, which you hopefully remember. The app offers shortcut to command places such as desktop recycle bin selected folder. Step 2. Hover over the selected location and click the scan button. Wait for a process to complete. If it takes too long, you can pause and resume and or stop it. Step 3. Preview found files that are organized in two groups, deleted and other lost, as well as by type, pictures, videos, documents, audio, others. Select files you want to recover and click the blue recover button in the bottom right. Specify destination and wait for it to complete. Know that if you try to restore data to the same original place where it had been stored previously, it could become corrupt or lost. This is due to a potential damaged directory index on a drive, that is why it is recommended to save restore data to another place, preferably another drive, for example to D drive, if files were lost from the C drive. Surely scanning may last long, and the later drive the longer it will take, but and just files a means, right? Upon completion, you will see the deleted files folder opened, and then you can view and find the files you need. Filtering files by type left menu nicely aids to search process. You might be looking for a specific document or video. By the way, Mac users may be positively surprised with the instant access to found media files and information about it, as well as the option to recover files directly to cloud storage. Overall, even inexperienced users will be able to use this utility. In the free DRW with the 500 MB recovery limit, there is the option to increase it by an extra 1.5 GB by clicking this share button. It means you should post a link to the product to your Facebook or Twitter account. This is just one of the marketing tactics. You can also save the scan session. It can be useful when, for example, you have no time at this current moment to wait for large files restoration so you could save scan results and complete the recovery later. Finally, if you need assistance, go to settings, help and there choose a suitable option. Video tutorials, online support center with help information and FAQ or contact technical support team through email, leave chart or phone. Recovery test. In order to perform unbiased and comprehensive testing of data recovery wizard, I've prepared a special folder with multiple and various files copied into it. This set of files consisted of 5 notepad files, 5 various software installed, etc., 5 Photoshop files, 5 photos, 5 audio files, and 1 video. 26 files in total, folder size 656 MB. Then I conducted 3 different tests as follows. Test 1. Standard relation to the recycled bin. Then launch in DRW to try to bring back deleted files. Results. Scan time. Recycled bin 6 GB 1 minute. 26 from 26 files records recovered. 24 files from 26 actually recovered and opened. It's 80%. Test 2. Permanent deletion not using the recycled bin. Shift and Del. Then trying to restore deleted files with DRW. Results Scan time Desktop 640GB 4 minutes 24 from 26 file records recovered 22 files from 26 actually recovered and opened It's 84% Test 3 to see whether DRW is capable of countering file shredders A special type of software designed to erase both files and file space in such a way that it could not be restored I used an application called Easy File Shredder to delete my test folder, which deletes files and then wipes the disk space multiple times over. Then I ran DRV. Results. Scan time desktop 640GB 4 minutes, 588 files after the original 26, folder size 1GB, 656MB original, only 9 files from the original 26 files actually recovered and opened. 34%. Thus, I would conclude that ETS Data Recovery Wizard is an effective recovery software that is capable of restoring most casually deleted files, Dell or Shift Dell. At the same time, it performs poorly 34% when it comes to file deleted with special algorithms like a Goodman, Schneer, US Dot, etc. So, pricing. DRW offers plenty of choice in terms of versions and price either for Windows, Mac or Android devices. There's a monthly, a year, and a lifetime subscription. 
General policies in place are 30-day money-back warranty after purchase, one license per computer, cancel anytime after revel or subscription, license activation delivery by email. So monthly subscription goes for $70, yearly $100, and lifetime $150. Payment options cover credit cards, PayPal, bank transfer. Curiously, if you order a monthly upgrade from the app, the price is $10 less – $60. Also, Mac version pricing is $90, $120, and $170, respectively for the same months, year, lifetime tires. There is also the technical package for Windows and Mac. It is designed for companies as one license covers multiple PCs and or servers, regardless of network size or location. It also offers priority technical support and it costs $300 for one year, $400 for two years, $500 for a lifetime. In free version, the number of scans is not limited, yet there is a cap of the amount of data to recover. It is 500 MB in free, which can be extended to 2 GB if a user shares the use of DRW of social media, Facebook or Twitter. At last, a mobile app version called MobiSaver comes as a free or pro. The same previously mentioned tires cost $60, $80 and $100 for iOS devices. For Android devices, pricing is split into two tires – personal use – $40 and business use – $400 both lifetime licenses. Oddly enough, while I found the MobiSaver app in the Google Play Store, I couldn't do the same in the Apple App Store. Summary Mixed results and mixed thoughts on data recovery wizard. On one hand, the product is decent. It has desktop and mobile apps, a free basic version which is useful before you make a decision on purchase, quick scanning and recovery, good detection rate of deleted files. On the other hand, the actual file recovery is far from perfect, meaning that not all files can be recovered and damaged files for sure cannot be saved or fixed. And also, it is overpriced. I briefly looked at three other random file recovery programs – Recuva by CCleaner $20, Artools $50, Active File Recovery $50, while DRW is $100 for Windows and $120 for Mac. My final overall rating of DRV of scale from 1 to 10 is 6. So that's all for today, see you soon!